Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Christina and this is Speech Therapy Education. The topic of this video is consonants. If you haven't seen my previous video covering vowels, I'm providing a link to the video in the description below. Vowels are pretty different from consonants. With vowels, you're just dealing with the lips and the tongue to shape the different sounds. With consonants, you're using a variety of articulators like your teeth, your lips, your tongue, and your palate. In this video, we are gonna learn how the consonants sound, what they look like written, and how we can describe them. Let's get started. are produced by vocal tract constrictions that shape the air coming from the larynx. Consonant production generally involves the coming together of two articulators to shape the sound as it passes through the mouth and the nose. The consonants of English include p, b, t, d, k, g, m, n, n, J, Y, W, O, and R. In order to talk about consonants, it's best to describe them by identifying their manner, their place, and their voicing. Manner. Manner refers to the way in which the air is modified throughout the vocal tract. Manner is broken down into five categories of consonants. Stops, nasals, fricatives, affricates, and approximates. Stops. Stop consonants are called stops because once the air enters our mouth, we completely stop the air. We do this with either our lips, the tip of our tongue, or the back of our tongue. Once we stop that air in our mouth, we build up what's called intraoral air pressure. And once that air is released, it makes a sound that we can hear. The stop consonants include p, b, t, d, k, and g, nasals. Nasal consonants are produced by lowering the velum and sending the air up and through our nose. The nasal consonants include m, n, and ng. Fricatives. Fricatives are produced by forcing the air through a narrow channel in the vocal tract. Think of the root word friction. In this case, we are creating air friction by pushing the air against, the against articulators in our mouth. The fricatives include and affricates. Affricates are a combination of a stop and a fricative. The two affricates include ch and j. The reason they're a combination sound is because ch starts out as the t sound and j starts out as the d sound. The tongue immediately slides back to a palatal position in order to create more of a friction type quality, hence why affricates are stops and fricatives. Approximates. Approximate sounds behave a lot like vowels do. They cannot form the nucleus of a syllable, so they are not considered vowels and instead put into the consonant category. Approximates are usually broken down into either glides or liquids. The glides include y and w, and the liquids include o and r. Now that we've addressed the five categories of manner, let's talk about placement. Placement refers to the spot in our vocal tract where the constriction is occurring. Placements of consonants can be bilabial, which is using the top and the bottom lip, labiodental, which is when we use our lip and our teeth like this, interdental, also known as linguodental. This is when we use our teeth and our tongue. We place our tongue in between our top and bottom teeth. 
alveolar. This is when the tip of our tongue is right behind our top teeth, palatal. Basically, the middle of our tongue raises up to touch our palate, velar, using the back of our tongue to touch our velum, and glottal, which is our vocal folds. The last component of describing consonants is voicing. Voicing refers to whether the vocal folds are vibrating or not vibrating. Quick note about voicing. Most consonants come in voicing pairs called cognates. Say each sound with me and put your hand up to your throat. Feel how one sound does not vibrate your throat, meaning it's voiceless, and one sound does vibrate your throat, meaning it's voiced. P, b, t, d, k, and g. To summarize, consonants are described by labeling their manner, their placement, and their voicing. So not to bore you by saying every consonant sound again, as you can tell there are quite a few, I'm going to put a list of the consonants and the way we would write out their place, manner, and voicing in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Resources used for the content in this video are provided in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with future content. Have an amazing day.